going to quickly show you how to use a box plot to find outliers in a data set on Excel. So first, I have a couple of columns of data here. I'm going to change one of these numbers so it becomes an outlier and we can compare these. So here is what a box plot looks like if you do not have an outlier. So you select the data and you find it under the histograms. You find box and whisker plot and it comes out just like that. Now this is an outlier so it will show up a little different. So if I insert box and whisker plot for that. Here we go. So this is most of the data. Here's your outlier up here. Now if I took that and changed it back, I think it was 48, it switches up to a normal box plot just like this. So if I made an outlier on this one, it's going to change or if I made it the opposite, it'll change to the bottom. So we know this is incorrect. It doesn't make sense here. So I'm just going to get it back to the correct number. But that is how you would find an outlier. So if you do find an outlier in your data and you need to remove it, See, it looks like this. You'd have to just remove this entire row because you wouldn't know what to change this to. So, and we don't having a post test doesn't make sense if you don't have the pre test score to compare it to. So, we would just remove that entire observation. But since we do know that I just changed it, I'm going to change it back to what it was before. But that's how you check for outliers using box plots in Excel. I hope this helped.